Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and rabbits. And in today's video, the one pound challenge is back. It's back, baby. Anyway, guys, if you haven't already seen the previous 16,000 episodes, then you must go and do so. One pound challenge, it's been a while. I think it's been about two months. So what I'm gonna do in this video is go through some solds that we have sold during the Christmas period and we'll get back on track to hit the £10,000 target. If you don't know what the £1 challenge is, it's very, very simple. I started this £10,000 target of mine with just £1. And I think today, as of today's recording, we are on about £1,119 in the kitty. Obviously, we've got 16 sales to go through today. So I'm going to flip you around and we're going to go on the computer and I'm going to show you exactly what is sold over the Christmas period regarding the challenge. Hopefully, with that £1,116, hopefully that will turn into about £1,500 by the end of the video. And if it does, we've got a very, very special buy. So let's flip the camera around, go on the computer and see what we've sold. Right, we are now on the computer. And as you can see, I'll have a running total around here or down there somewhere, depending on where I am regarding the screen. And I think last episode we finished on 1,119 pound. So everything that you see today will be added onto that target, added onto that end bill. And hopefully by the end of, like towards the end of this video, we'll be on 1,500 pounds. So I can do this awesome, awesome little buyout. So with that being said, Let's crack on and see what sales we've had during the Christmas period and since the last episode. So we're going to kick off things very, very nicely indeed with a £115 sale. We bought these from TK Maxx for £30 in a previous episode and they sold for £115, which is absolutely redonkadonk. But that's £115 back in the kitty ready to invest. Moving on swiftly, as you can see, we've sold some Paul Smith cufflinks and we've got 25 pounds for these. Unfortunately, for some reason, I didn't charge postage. I have normally charged postage if it's part of the one pound challenge, uh, but for some reason this time I haven't. So we'll have to take that consideration. So we'll just add 20 pound extra to the kitty. Uh, paid, I think, probably no more than a fiver. So five into 25 is very nice profit indeed. I always look to at least quadruple my money with four postage and fees. Uh, that way I know I am making some sort of profit. Uh, but yeah, five into 25, happy days. A nice little sale here. Don't tend to pick too many Game Boy Advance games up in their boxes, especially. This one is American. You can tell that by this little symbol here. Clearly says everybody. This is a very American symbol here. Uh, if any of you guys didn't know, you do see this on a front cover of a game, 99.9% .9 of chance it's going to be USA. I think the Game Boy Advance is region free, which means that you can actually buy it and use it in the UK. Uh, so this for 9.95 owes us, I don't know, probably pennies now because we are well into profit of the bundle that we have purchased when we did buy this. So £10 back in the kitty. Moving on to a charity shop pickup. I think I paid about six quid for these. So not the best flip, but certainly not the worst. And again, for some reason, didn't charge postage. So we'll put £15 back in the kitty from this sale. Give us about five to play with postage. It probably would cost us about £2.90p to post. But for the sake of this challenge and the sake of this video, we are just going to be extra careful and extra you know, observant of that £10,000 target that we are trying to hit. £20 pack in the kitty. Again, like I said, I think it owes us £6. 6 into 20 definitely not the worst flip, but definitely not the best flip. And at the end of the day, profit is profit. So £20 back in the kitty. Hopefully, by the end of this, we can hit a 1500 target. That would be phenomenal. We then took an offer of £12 for this. This is a Nintendo Wii Remote and Nunchuck controller. Authentic, tested and working. Really, really nice condition. Sold this for £12. Not too shibby shabby indeed. Uh, if you didn't know, there's still a lot of money to be made in Nintendo Wii stuff, especially if you part out bundles, which is what we did here. We had a spare Nintendo Wii Remote control and the Nunchuck. So we sold that individually for £12, and that's £12 back in the kitty, 
ready to be invested. Then sold some hotter periwinkle leather shoes, size six, brand new. We took an offer of 27 pound, I do believe. Uh, and again, for some reason, no postage was used in this, but we uh, will take into consideration and we'll probably just drop 25 pound into the kitty. And that way it will cover the postage. We spent a whopping, what? I think about six quid on these, six into 27. I'll take that all day long. We in fact sold two copies of this for £10. That is the Weaver Sports Remote Resort. Like I said, we split a lot of our gaming bundles. Uh, haven't actually picked up a gaming bundle in a very, very long time. We've got £10 for this one and £10 for the other one. So that's £20 back in the kitty that we can reinvest into future £1 challenge sales. Stick it with the gaming stuff. Shark Tail, GBA, £5. Free postage. Not really a great deal to be said there. Now this. This is a great, great little sale. We took an offer of £127 plus postage. So uh, that is a beautiful, beautiful sale. I picked this up with two games for £80 on Facebook Marketplace. One of the games have sold just under £100. And now this is sold for £127. And we've got one more game left up at about 99.99 so 127 back in the kitty i think we're gonna have no problems buying this 1500 pound buyout that i really want to buy for this challenge uh yeah what a beautiful beautiful sale if i am correct in saying i believe this thing here only came out in a very 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 few countries and I think Cyprus is, was the one that this guy paid for and bought this from, from Cyprus. Out of all places, Cyprus. Uh, so yeah, it might even be a Cypriot only thing. I do not know, but I know it was very, very limited. So really, really happy. Kind of wish I kept it, but at the end of the day, I bought it for the challenge and I wanted to sell it quickly. And £127, I'm, I cannot say no to that. I mean, I've just slagged game and stuff off and I've not sold games in a very, very long time. But a lot of these sales have been video games. Mario at the Sonic and the Olympic Games. Nintendo Wii with Manuel. Uh, sold for $4.99. Well, $4.95. Free postage. This sold to one of your beautiful faces. Uh, you know who you are. Um, thank you again so much. It was £16 plus £4 postage. £16 back in the kitty. We do believe that that was actually a Jack Wilshire signature from the England days when he used to play for England in 2008 roughly era that's what we went for uh sold on bids because i didn't really know how to price it just yeeted it on bids let you guys bid off it um and yeah one of you won it which i'm so happy about that it went to one of you guys um if you do ever find anything in my shop my shop is here rummage around and you do want to buy something let me know on instagram we can sort out you some sort of deal uh, and that way you know you're saving money I'm making a little bit of money on mine and at the end of the day we're supporting each other and that's what this community is all about, supporting one another. Another TK Maxx flip, we spent £10 on the G-Star Raw jeans and they sold for £35 plus postage, brand new. Uh, it's kind of, it's one of them things. Normally I do really, 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 really well with G-Star jeans, like used, but for some reason this specific model and this sort of colour wash and the colour code didn't seem to hold much value even at brand new. So for that reason, we only did get 35 pound, but 10 into 35 pound with an RA flip as well is definitely not to be sniffed at. And we sold that really, really, really fast. So uh, yeah, happy with that one. Going back to where it all began, the selling shoes and trainers, we have sold a pair of Clarks for 20 pounds. We accepted off 20 pound plus postage. They sold super fast, they are super light, and they sold super duper super fast. I think they sold within like maybe 48 hours, so yeah, really, really happy with that. Uh, Ozus 5, 5 into 20, again, four times my money, and like I said, look, five views, it kind of proves that it sold ridiculously fast, and for decent money as well, 20 pounds for a pair of Clark shoes. Considering how often you do find Clark shoes, yeah, that sold pretty, pretty fast. The penultimate item, we did in fact uh, accept an offer of £50 for this. Um, I kind of took the background off of this because this is what it looked like without it. Took the background off it and I just thought it stood out a tiny bit more. 
when you are selling video game bundles like this, it's always important to make your photo like look really big. So like make it look jam packed, grab the potential buyers views, and then hopefully, you know, because that looks massive, doesn't it? Like, it looks, it look, looks like a decent sized bundle. It's got 12 video games. Um, yeah, and I think when you separate everything out, it just looks a little bit bigger than it actually is. Uh, and it sold for 50 pound plus postage. That's another 50 pound back in the kitty. And finally, well, certainly not leastly, we sold another TK Maxx flip, which is really, really, really good indeed. A lot of this has now become a little bit of RA, uh, this side of the challenge, because I find that when you are, because I want to get to a 10,000 pound target, I need to re reinvest all my money quickly and, you know, guarantee higher outcomes. So a lot of this, you know, 120 pounds for the diesel jeans, 50 pounds for these replay jeans, uh, all this good TK Maxx stuff is higher value stuff than the potential stuff that I'm going to find in a charity shop. Doesn't mean I'm not going to go to a charity shop any, any uh, ever again in this challenge because we certainly will. But I have taken a little bit of a step in the RA side of things. Uh, these are a pair of Replay Grovers. They sold for £50 and uh, they, again, didn't last very long. Probably lasted maybe a week, maybe 10 days. Owes us probably 10 to 12 pound and again sold ridiculously fast and really really happy with that so if my mathematical maths is not incorrect i think we can potentially buy the 1500 pound buyout that i wanted to buy and i'm going to quickly show you them now so the 1500 pound buy that i've been wanting to do we can officially and finally do we have brought 52 psa graded cards for the man the myth the legend closet geek we've got some black star promo muse we've got some aerodactyls we've got some other stuff we've got some really nice cards they've all been graded by the one and only psa here's an example here psa black star promo from 2000 and that got an eight. So the reason why I've spent £1,500 on these stuff is because this is £1,500 well worth spent. Probably looking to double my money on this, which will be nice after fees and postage, which is what we agreed on. And um, it's nice stuff. It's I like. I kind of collect Pokemon cards myself, and I kind of collect all sorts of stars. Look at that. That's a beautiful Mint 9 promo we've got some really nice really nice cards here and to be honest i'm now sort of like getting myself involved in a lot of the groups that sell pokemon cards and i might be able to shift some of these to there so obviously when you are a reseller you're not just selling on one platform you can obviously sell on multiple platforms multiple ways there's facebook groups that will probably buy some of this stuff that's a really nice one look at that a black star promo mu PSA 9, absolute beautiful. We've got another one of them. We've got another, you know what I mean? We've got 16 of these ones alone. So like I said, we really have invested a lot of money in this, but there is a lot of money to be made from this deal. And um, I think probably an estimation value of this whole box here, but believe it or not, it is no bigger than a shoe box. Uh, it's probably about three and a half grand. So uh, what we need to do now in the next episode of the one pound challenge is to start listing these bad boys but that is for next week's episode so close the lid up and close the video and there we have it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls cats and dogs and rabbits thank you so so much for watching if you did enjoy that video please do me one huge favor the one pound challenge is back every single thursday there will be a one pound challenge video until we reach the 10 thousand pound mark if you haven't watched the previous episodes of this series there is a playlist on my channel be sure to go and check that out we started this challenge with one whole pound and now we're doing 1500 pound buys at a time which is absolutely incredible and guys honestly from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for supporting me and my business and my channel you guys are awesome and i'll see you beautiful lot in the next one boom